We have Mark going back to a new Phineas and Ferb episode of you. And if you need last one, go and check it out. And this is another good episode. And it starts with Phineas and Ferb and Perry just wondering what to do. And they actually get an idea of wondering what Perry's, you know, his, not the so sound that Perry makes actually means. So they decide to make a translator, try to see what it actually means. And Candace is just talking to Stacy and actually gets a phone call from Jeremy, which he invites Candace to play this new game that he's got. And, of course, he's like, oh, yeah, you, me, and Susie. And he's like, no, see, that Susie's at her friend's house, which when Candace hears about Susie not at Jeremy's house, she runs immediately over there. <laughs> yeah, she runs immediately over there. But you think that things are going to go well for Candace. <laughs> oh, boy. I I laugh because you are... I'm sorry, but you are wrong. Even though Susie isn't there, things are still going to go wrong. Which Candace... Or, yeah, Candace is not going to see it coming, for real. And Phineas and Ferb have built the translator and... wonder where Perry is, which Monogram is telling Perry about... Something with Doofensmertz. And they get Perry and try to see what it's, he's going to say. And right before he does it, Isabella comes and wonders what they're doing. And, yeah, of course, Perry is gone. Which, a bird comes and actually, we actually hear what it's actually saying. And even the squirrel. And they get the idea of that any animal can be able to do it. So, pretty much a lot of animals go to actually say of used a translator and Jeremy is actually surprised that Candace actually came because he said that most girls aren't into playing video games and again this is where the things go bad or sort of start to get bad and when she thinks it's just her and him no it's Susie's poodle dog that is there with him yeah you remember the same one that bit Candace on the butt when it came to one little scare out of do it episode. Yeah, and of course of course it still it just it remembers Candace and starts growling at Candace. <laughs> That's Susie's dog for you. And Perry gets trapped and Duffin Smurts is saying of how he's gonna open the dam and the only way people are going to be able to get across it is to ride his new boat that can go on the surface, drive on the surface of water. And, yeah, a lot of animals, line of animals just use the translator, which, that's just really cool, though. One of Phineas and Ferb's just greatest inventions, I call it, because just thinking of, an, of a translator that animals would actually, you can actually understand what animals are saying. Like, that's very creative. I could just, I mean, I love all their inventions, but this is probably one of my favorites that they did. And, yeah, Susie's poodle then pays on Candace's so And, of course, while she's trying to dry it off, Susie's poodle takes Candace's sue. And Jeremy, is, of course, was like, that's weird. Susie trained her so well. And Candace is like, I see. I see. Susie trained her. You know, in a, like, so, not sign up, kind of socked way. And, yeah, they get chased and pretty much toilet paper everywhere. And Susie's dog just drops Candace's sue into the toilet and trying to clog it out. And, yeah, Candace just leaves. And she does come back and wonder what Phineas and Ferb are up to. And, yeah, she's just talking about, just talking bad about the animals. And then, yeah, they just start chasing Candace all across town until Doofensmertz opens the dam and starts moving. And, of course, Perry ends up getting him and... Candace is, was still getting chased until the water got all the animals, and it's now in the boat. And Perry opens a utter, another way that 
pretty much goes around the tri-state area and defeats Doofenshmirtz. And, yeah, we actually see of what, what, we actually get to see what Perry actually means by his noise that he makes. And it actually means, it doesn't say anything. But, Candace is just obviously upset, which Jeremy comes by and wondering where J Candace went and washed her so for him, or for her, and puts it on like a glass, like Cinderella style, doing like a Cinderella style. And yeah, of course he faints and says how in, of being enchanting, of how enchanting it is. Again, being like a Cinder, being like Cinderella. <laughs> But yeah, a really good episode. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have a notification channel. Make sure you stay new. Like to know everything. Good to know.